Tom Fisher here of bourbonblog.com. It's all about bourbon today because we're at the Beer, Bourbon, and Barbecue Festival with Anthony Caparelli, Art of the Drink TV. And it's and we're gonna do some with bourbon. Yeah, we're gonna do some bourbon stuff. You're gonna show us a bourbon cocktail that you've yes. come up with. Yes, let's do that. All right. Have you had enough bourbon today? Apparently not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Tom, what we're doing today, this is a drink that I came up with. Um, this is sort of my answer to the Cosmopolitan. Get a little long in the tooth, you know what I mean? Kind of a girl's drink, right? So I came up with my version that I think a guy can comfortably order. It's brown liquor based, so of course we're going with bourbon and we're gonna use Maker's Mark, which is my favorite. Okay, I think Make Maker's Mark mixes really, really well. Okay, so we're gonna start with uh, two ounces of Maker's Mark and this is a martini drink, so you're looking for a pretty strong alcohol base here. And then to go with the sweetness of the maker's mark, I chose amaretto and I'm going to do just about an ounce of amaretto. And then sticking with the Cosmo theme because we, we do want to keep this red, uh, just about a half ounce of cranberry juice. And what I like about mixing with cranberry juice is it gives a little bit of sweetness and tartness. One of the great, uh, I think, sort of unsung mixes in the world is bourbon and cranberry juice. I always tell people if you're tired of just drinking bourbon and Cokes and bourbon and gingers, do some bourbon and cranberry, throw a little amaretto in there, outstanding combination. And then what I'm going to do, because this is very sweet, bourbon is sweet, amaretto is sweet, cranberry juice is sweet. What I'm going to do to just kind of brighten this up and cut that sweetness is I'm going to take one wedge of fresh lemon, squeeze that and then drop that in there and that's going to give me all of the oils from the skin. And Now I'm going to shake it. Any good martini based drink needs to be shaken until the tin is frosted. The drink is nice and cold and aerated. Okay, and you can see we got a nice lot of froth in there and in every single one of those bubbles is the flavor of the drink. It's gonna carry that right up to your nose. And then what I'm gonna do is strain this off into the glass of your choice. And for a garnish, I'm going to take a rind of orange and I'm actually gonna flame this. And what you wanna do, is just hold the flame right off to the side of your drink and then take your orange peel and squeeze it right through the flame. And you're gonna caramelize all of the oils that shoot through that flame. You're gonna end up with a nice coating over the top of caramelized oils and sugars from the orange peel. Okay, and then you just take this and just drop that right in. And why don't you give that I try and see what you think. It's a Cosmo for a man. Basically. Yeah, I call it the Samuels. I made it. Um, it's dedicated to Bill Samuels right. Jr., the president of Maker's right. Mark. And we and we like Maker's Mark a lot too. Yeah, we do. That is my kind of Cosmo. You like that? I do. That's good. tasty. Good, good. Thank you very much. So go out and order a Samuels next time your girlfriend's ordering a Cosmo, or get two, one for each of you. We're bringing a culture, a people, and a passion together with one blog. Bourbonblog.com. We only encourage responsible drinking by those who have legal age to drink in their countries or regions. So be safe, be legal, and never drink and drive.